Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to practice comparing different values. Uh, in the last two challenges we learned about the equality operator and the strict equality operator. Let's do a quick review and practice using those operators some more. If the values being compared are not of the same type, the equality operator will perform a type conversion. This uh, and then evaluate the values. However, the strict equality operator will compare both the data type and value as is without converting one type to the other. The example, three is equal to three, this returns true. Three is, strict, is strictly equal to three, that returns false. Because the types are different, what does it mean? Because the types are different, that means that the string of three is not equal to the integer three. Um, in JavaScript, you can determine the type of a value by saying type of. Oh, cool, we've done this before. Uh, the, um, so what we want to do is the compare equality function is in the editor compares two values using the equal equality operator. We want to modify the function so that it returns equal only when the values are strictly equal. Okay, so um basically what we're saying is change the value change this value to test so compare equality 10 is equal to 10. Um, we want to compare equality but what's right what now what right now is happening is we're comparing whether or not the integer 10 is equal to 10 but th what this is telling us is we want to modify the function so that it returns equal only when the values are strictly equal which means we want this to return false like right now, if we were to console.log the compare equality uh, function, we're going to get that th they're equal. But we want them to not be equal because we only want them to be equal when we have a string of 10. We want have the same thing. So what we're going to do is just make this triple equals. So, you know, 10 is not equal to 10. If 10 was equal to, to the string of 10, it would say it was equal. Now, it doesn't just tap check for type, it, just, it makes sure that they're the exact same thing. It wants a string that's equal to 10 and a string that's equal to 10. Uh, anyways, I hope this helps. Essentially, all they wanted you to do is add one single equals right here. If we run the test, we'll see that pass. Hope you guys enjoy this one. We'll see you in the next lesson.